Hello everyone, Gomez here for the Land Up channel. Again, we more hype, hype, hype as we get more new cards. Don't know whether or not we're going to be getting a champion today. Don't know whether or not we're just going to be getting more cards today. Obviously, we got the region cards yesterday, but can't wait to see what the hell is in store for us. Let's just get into this. Let's go! Okay, so it's just the six cards for us tonight, but let's just quickly go through them all and get this done. So obviously we're seeing Landmark Synergy coming into Targon. I don't know that there's already Landmarks in Targon, but what I mean is that we're seeing more things that are going to be working more towards Chip and cards such as that as that we're going to be seeing today, I'm guessing, from this and also alluding to what Malphite is most likely going to do. And hopefully we'll be seeing that champion tomorrow because obviously, because... It would seem that way, right? Because obviously we've got a champion. We've had a few days of just cards. And then, boom, there should be the champion that hopefully goes and synergizes all these cards together to make 100% sense. But obviously, the one card we definitely already know is in this is the cute little adorable chip. So, cards that are going to be working with it. So, these extra landmarks that are going to be given to Targon. Bear in mind that Targon's already got some landmarks already. But, as I said, none of them were good enough to work with Chip on their own. By that, I mean, you'd probably have to go to another region for landmarks, such as Shreema, to help Chip along. And still, there's probably going to be a lot of synergy between um, Targon and that. If, if you're running that kind of deck, you probably still will run Shreema. But let's just see whether or not this open and up, opens up chances to go in different re which it realms. Or just pure, pure like, which it full on. Targon, like mono Targon. So let's just quickly go through and see what we've got here. So we've got a free cost landmark, Spiral Stairs, which massively to me looks like the Great Wall of China. But let's just get in and see what it's going to be doing. So it's a free cost landmark, uh, Countdown of Free. So it's going to be a little bit before you get, would you get it? Unless obviously you're running like the clock stuff from uh, Sharima, whereby you can reduce um like advanced uh, countdowns but anyway create a strength of which as a seed of strength in hand and seed of strength is a zero cost slow speed um which is granted ally plus three plus two and overwhelm so it's kind of like zenith blade because bearing in mind that so it's another card which gives overwhelm in targon targon has obviously zenith blade which has been used quite a bit especially with lee sin let's face it and um the other card is the ibex which is the unit base which grants overall not seen as much <laughs> if i'm gonna be honest not seen as much but this is another spell based one whereby it is going to be granting a unit plus three plus two and overwhelm which on top of chip because bear in mind playing this is a landmark so on top of chip chip if played with a landmark becomes a free free right and so this will become a six five with overwhelm <gasps> Which is not bad stats in, in the early game, especially. That's not bad stats. Plus, there's also uh, gems in Targon. Like, you can like, have, like, Mountain Goat or whatever the hell, like, creating gems. Therefore, meaning that you can actually get that overwhelm damage even more on that kind of, like, early game unit. So, there is options like that, as well as healing that unit as, as they're going. But, actually, like, a, quite a nice card. Uh, so many different things that you can actually put that on. The zero cost of that is actually quite nice and like obviously for a countdown of free so you're actually having to wait but as i said if you're running this with the shirima card which allow you to uh reduce the tech which at the countdowns then that's not actually too bad at all let's go in and see what else we've got so we've got a two cost landmark rock full path so that's the stereo path now let's go for the rock full path two cost landmark which is a countdown of two uh, rather than free so yeah again if you use the clock little i'm gonna always go back to the little clock because obviously sharima has got the, the most reduce countdown things um but if you were to reduce the countdown with the clock man literally boom you would immediately obliterate the weakest enemy which to be fair like so obviously like you know so this could either just be played as a scare tactic in terms of the fact that if like it might stop your opponent from developing or if they have developed they go like oh crap I'm going to be losing this unit, which bear in mind, units such as Zoe, Teemo, and Ezreal, I guess, which get like a, like the low cost, like a, so the, the elusives um, with only like one, one attack stat. Obviously, Ezreal's got a little bit more health, so he might be safe, but Teemo and Zoe are definitely going to be in the firing lines potentially for this. So it opens up that, but as I said, like also running the clock band means you wouldn't even have to wait two turns. You could make this happen immediately if you were running the little clock man who um, advances by two. So there's the option there, as well as obviously actually just running this focus speed spell, which reduces by one, still means it's boom happening next turn. So it's, it's kind of like a scary prospect for your opponent. So I do actually like that card because it's, it's the one thing about landmarks is it's kind of a loss in tempo because you're, you're spending that mana, you're putting this on the ball, but it's kind of a unit 
moment which isn't doing anything. So it's nice to see that this is going to be having an effect. It's forcing your opponent to work out how they want to play around that. And even if, and especially if you're playing something like Soothsayer with this to protect this, so the opponent can't even just immediately just use their landmark removal to stop this from being a thing like to save their team or to save their zone is also quite interesting as well. So I'm, I'm actually liking that card. Uh, that goes to the uh, Earth Elemental is an overwhelming unit, a four cost. Uh, three five which once you've summoned four landmarks this game grant me plus three so that'll go to six damage on over i'm a six five with overwhelm which um is really good especially considering the fact that obviously i said so this is probably gonna be i'm assuming it's alluding to malphite being something to do with landmarks whether or not he's gonna be a landmark himself or whether or not he's gonna involve landmarks it's gonna be very much that based let's face it uh and the ability of obviously using um What's her face? Do, 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 do. I'll come up with her name, Talia, in this kind of a deck so that you're running landmarks. It, it, it's finding a home for her because she hasn't actually found a perfect home. Whereas it's looking like this is where they're trying to fit her in. in and uh, I'm guessing that the whole synergy is that she's supposed to go with Malphite. But until we see Malphite, it's hard to judge these cards, right? That's what, so take all everything what I'm saying a pinch of salt because. Um, without being able to see the actual champion, which hopefully we'll be seeing tomorrow. Um, it's hard to judge these things, but plus three attacker. So I would you a six, a six, uh, five overwhelm thing, which obviously if you use seed of strength can actually go up even more to a nine, a nine, seven with overwhelm uh, as well as I already alluded to the fact that when I was talking about that, saying that like it's the you, it's the region of gems. So you could even make that even more attack at that. So it's actually quite, it's actually quite a nice unit to work between. Like if you're, if that's your goal, it's actually a really nice unit. So let's go into the next one, which is Blue Sentinel, which is a two cost, two fruit, which is not a bad stat line for a two cost. And it's got last breath, summon a Crest of Insight. So Crest of Insight, I do apologize, my face is in the way, but I'll put the, I'll put the thing up here. Uh, crest of Insight is a landmark, which is, so it's actually a landmark, which can only be created. So it's not main deckable, it's a token card that can only be created by this Blue Sentinel. And it is a landmark, which is countdown one, get an extra mana gem this round. So it's kind of one of those things where your opponent has to judge. Right, if I take out the blue sentinel, it's meaning that they're gonna be getting this. So next turn, my opponent is gonna have an extra mana, like extra mana. For, it's only for the round as well. So it's, it's interesting because obviously we haven't seen much ramp in Targon before. And this is kind of a little, I say we haven't seen much. Actually no, yeah, because, um, What's face? The other landmark, uh, Veil Temple, isn't really ramp because it is just giving you extra mana crystals in a turn, so that's different. But this one's actually allowing you to have it, but it's just for the round, so it's not like in um, like Crystalist or anything in Freljord whereby they're giving you and it's a continuous mana crystal. This is just going to be for the next round, so your opponent's got to judge what you could possibly have in hand to think, okay, if I'm killing this Sentinel, I know that they're going to have an extra point on me next turn and what could they be running that i don't want them to run so actually blue sentinel is actually quite interesting in the fact that it forces your opponent to have to think okay i'm allowing this to happen one turn earlier than what would happen should i take this unit out actually quite i, I do actually like the design of that but i like the, I like the design of the the uh, noxian card the snapper we saw the other day whereby if you block it it gets plus three like it's, it's kind of that thing where it's kind of like making it so, do I deal with this unit? Because not not many you like obviously I know that Last Breath has been a thing for a while, but nothing's really had like that Last Breath effect that has been so bad. You're like, oh, like, I, I, I'll i leave that. I'm not going to kill that, if you know what I mean. Like in terms of it's not had the kind of effect where like, if, if you're killing it, you're like, okay, fine. I don't mind doing that trade. But this is kind of actually making you think, do I do that trade? And that's actually quite an interesting thing to see that they're coming up with ideas such as that. And I'm actually liking that kind of thing. So that is all the cards for today. All six of the cards. This is alluding to most likely we're going to be getting the champion tomorrow. I don't want to hype it up too much. I can hope so. But these are the cards. As they are, they are quite interesting. And as I said, like a rockfall path definitely is going to be quite a nice one for just like a, it forces your opponent to have to think about. It. But also, as I said, if run with Shirima, the ability of reducing that countdown can make it even more devastating faster. 
Uh, and especially if you were running, say, Talia with that and you actually copied that, so you had two of those, so you were obliterating two units from your opponent's side. Because bear in mind, obliterate is a powerful thing to do because it means they're not getting that back. In, in no way possible are they getting that back. Whereas, like, obviously, when it comes to um, just killing, they've got the chance of getting those things back with, like, Rekindler, Harrowing, some cards, like a, like a, a Miss Call and that. So... It's, it's quite a powerful thing, and obviously, Targon's already got enough obliterates going on with the Celestials. But it's good to see. And actually, talking about Celestials, it means that this that it makes that other card that we got years ago that nobody cared about, uh, the landmark, which gives you two Celestial cards like upon countdown of two, the um, Star Tip Pick. Was it? What, I can't remember what the hell that was even called. Like right now, <laughs> but yeah, it, it gives it gives an option for that to be played as well. Bearing in mind that Targon is the region which does have a uh, diverted path as a card, which is a draw landmark spell or, or destroy landmark spell. So in that kind of a deck, I'm guessing that we might see that scene a lot more play just because number one, you might have to deal with landmarks, but number two, drawing landmarks is going to be essential for that deck, especially if you're going to be running cards such as Earth, um, Earth Elemental and Chip, which let's face it, you will be. But what I do like is that it opens up the path for you not to have to just go pure Sharima, like have to go Targon Sharima. There is a slight chance that with these kind of cards and with these landmarks that you could technically go Sharima with somebody else. I'm oh, sorry, Sharima with somebody else, Targon with somebody else. I like the fact that it kind of opens that door. And obviously, our regions are most likely going to be getting some landmarks as well at some point, or like more landmarks, and we haven't seen all the cards, so we don't know what other options are going to be available and what options will be available in the future so this is very nice to see personally but i'm liking all of these cards i can like not as hyped because i wish i was seeing a champion right now but they've all got their uses and that's what i like to see so please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below let's let's go big face mode for this Please let me know what you think, as I said down in the comment section down below about these cards. I said only the six cards tonight, but it's still hype hype because it's still more cards. Still good times. Uh, bear in mind, if you didn't know already, shameless plug time, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. So you want to catch me on Twitch, I do stream on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. As well as the fact there's the Discord link down below if you want to get in there and join and start talking about these new cards. Start talking about deck creations. There's been a few people in there already talking about what they want to do with, um, I guess say his name terribly wrong, the Time Wizard Man. Um, Zil Zillion, Zillion, and uh, also what's important to remember about in that Discord is that ne this month I'm going to be running a tournament. I say this month, actually, sorry, correction, next month because it'd be May the 15th and 16th. I'm going to be running a tournament whereby you could win yourself these lovely Twisted Fate cards with this stand. Potential, like, uh, there's also going to be some cash prizes as well, small cash prizes, by the way, but cash prizes as well, as well as the fact there's going to be a prize for whoever comes with the memeiest lineup as well. So, whoever comes with the memeiest lineup, win, lose, or draw, there's also going to be a special prize in there for you so if that sounds interesting get in that discord and we're going to talk about it and whatnot because there is actually the link to the website but i said like okay, that'd be on there if you want to check out but do not feel forced these are just the options and thank you so much for watching thank you to everyone who supports my channel by watching the content by subscribing liking like literally it all helps out in the end so thank you all so much i hope you have a great day evening night or whatever the hell it is for you and i'll see you hopefully tomorrow for some more card reviews. hopefully a champion a more hype 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 so until then from flash of brilliance that could save me. Save me! That doesn't save me. Okay. Is there anything from you? Save me. That doesn't save me! Okay. Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me.